Howdy guys and welcome back to Ford Shop Yard. Ryan here. And I just wanted to take a few minutes and talk a little bit about, um, we'll give you some tips, uh, some tricks to keep your car running as efficient as possible. Tip number one. Keep clean oil in your car. If it's dirty, change it. Dirty oil, you get worse gas mileage, it works things out faster. Um, and change it every 5,000 miles. Uh, tip number two. If you uh, use, use quality oil, um, don't go buy the cheapest thing out there at the dollar store. Uh, get good quality oil. I like Penn's oil, Castrol, oil, uh, Motorcraft, which is, Ford doesn't make their own oil. They just put their own sticker on it. <clears throat> um, and use a quality oil filter. I like the Mothercraft oil filters because all I own is Ford, so. But use a good quality oil filter. Some of them don't filter as well. They only filter up to about 3,000 miles. And so if you get a premium filter, it'll last you five up to seven or 8,000. And, um, but tip number three. Um, you know, if your car, if, keep your spark plugs clean and, and make sure they're not worn out. If they're worn out, you got a bunch of misfires, you'll get worse gas mileage. And so keep your plugs changed They're about every 100,000 miles. Some are good for 100,000, some are good for 50, 150,000. I've seen some with 200,000 and they were still in perfectly good shape. Um, make sure you keep your air filters clean. Uh, your car burns th thousands and th hundreds of thousands of cubic feet of uh, um, of um, air a minute, and so if you got a dirty oil filter, you get worse gas mileage. Um, keep your tire pressure. Make sure you have good tire pressure. Some of them are thirty, thirty-two. Um, make sure it's not bulging, you know, and, uh, also, if you have worn out tires and you think it'd be good to put them up to the, what the tire says, 50 PSI, and, um, bad idea, because you'll have, that's a, yeah, it, it will keep you from having, getting nails in your tires, getting flat, but it'll also cause you to have a blowout, too. As tires wear down and age, they just break down inside. And so, you know, you just get it's more problems that way. Um, uh, let's see. Always keep your gas hand above a quarter of a tank. Um, you don't want your fuel pump wearing out prematurely. So, once it gets down... What I always do, I pretend a quarter of a tank is an E. And so when it gets a quarter tank, I always fill them back up. So you don't want to ruin an expensive fuel pump by not keeping your full tank your tank full when it gets low. Um, make sure you don't have a whole lot of excess weight in your vehicle. If you carry around a lot of tools or, or if you got a bunch of heavy items in your car that you don't need take them out the less weight you get better gas mileage and you know don't keep it full of trash and things but um but um also make sure you keep your tail lights working uh your your all, all your lights work all the time you don't want to you know, be going down the road at night, you have a tail light out, your lights don't work, and somebody smash into you. Um, I actually had a had that happen to me and Frankie, which you really can't see him in the video, but he's sitting right over here behind me. Um, I was going to a job interview one day, a couple of years ago, and uh, this car in front of me didn't have any tail lights. Now, mind you, my tail lights work. You know, I was driving Frankie then, but my tail lights were working fine. The car in front of me had no tail lights, no signals, no nothing. So he was in front of me and he was slowing down. I didn't know it because he didn't have any brake lights, tail lights. 
And so I slammed on brakes when I noticed he was actually stopping. Sl slowed down, slammed on brakes, and the car behind it rear-ended me. Didn't do any damage to my truck, but boy, did it mess her Toyota up. It destroyed her car. I mean, it bent the hood, destroyed the grill, the bumper, the fenders. Busted the radiator. Luckily, we weren't hurt, but, um, but yeah. Just keep, make sure all your lights work at all times. You never know. And, um, but, didn't do anything to my truck, but it messed her Toyota up bad. But, but, just want to share that with y'all. Um, what else? Make sure your fuel fil you keep your fuel filter changed. They get dirty and clog up and um, things like that. But uh, it's recommended to change your fuel filter about every thirty or forty thousand miles. Um, so you just want to make sure that stays. That's another maintenance tip for you. Um, Like, take old Blue here. We paid $700 for this truck in September. Purchased it from my aunt. And it had 303,000 miles on it. And right after we got it, we were driving down the road one day, going up a hill, and it started bucking. I said, what in the world is it doing that? And I said, I bet it's because that fuel filter. I bet the fuel filter's clogged up in it. Well, I went and I ordered a new one. They got it in. I went down, picked it up, and changed it. When I changed it, this was this thing had the original Ford Motorcraft fuel filter on it. 20 years old, 303,000 miles on it. It had never been changed. When I pulled that line off, it oh, it was disgusting. You know, I mean, it really was nasty. So, I changed the fuel filter and had a problem since. And I put one coil in this truck. So, those are just some maintenance tips for you guys to keep a car running efficiently and make sure it runs forever. Um, get back on the subject of maintenance tips. Another one is, uh, use the correct weight oil that your car is designed recommend for. If it's calls for 5w20 put in 5w20 if it calls for 530 put in 530 you know don't switch to different weights of oil because if you got a car that's got you know a lot of miles and you've been using you know 5w20 for a long time then you switch to say 1030 or if you've been using 1030 and you switch to 520 it may start either leaking or burning oil so you want to keep the correct viscosity and weight in it all the time and you don't want to be changing back and forth and um at that light oil you get better gas mileage and it lasts longer it flows better especially synthetic oil keeps it, if your car calls for synthetic oil put in synthetic oil fully synthetic oil change it every 5,000 miles um Always wear your seatbelt. You always want to make sure your seatbelt's on. You know, you always want to put it on. And you don't ever want to forget because these airbags, I don't trust them. I mean, they're 20 years old. They never, you know, you don't know if they're going to work or not. You get an accident, you don't know if they're going to work. So always put on your seatbelt. And, um, so. But yeah, um, make sure you can see out all your windows, make sure they're not obstructed in any kind of way. Um, but, you know, make sure your wipers are in excellent shape, they're not all worn out. If they're worn out, change them. Um, Keep your clean, 
blah, keep clean coolant in your engine at all times. Most modern coolants last from last seven years or 150,000 miles. And they've got little test kits out there that you can do. You can see how, what kind of shape your coolant is in. You know, whether or not you need to change it. But most modern coolants you need to change every seven years or 150,000 miles, whichever comes first. And like the old green coolant, the old conventional green coolant. That stuff only lasted for about three to five years. And you had to change it more often, so. Today's coolant has got more corrosion inhibitors. And, you know, it doesn't break down as fast, you know. So keep, change it, you know. Make sure you change it and change your thermostat. You know, if it's never been changed and your car's 20 years old or whatever, change it sooner than later if it's never been done just as a preventative maintenance um keep a keep a make sure you keep your battery in tip top shape you know um batteries break down over time you know just from cycles and things like that and if you do need to replace your battery here's a good tip when you go to the auto parts store or wherever it sells batteries make sure you look at the date um, if the date is, um, you know, say it's, uh, 1 of 22, January 22, that's the freshest battery, and that's the one you should buy. You don't want to go out and, you know, buy a battery that's been sitting on the shelf for six months because it's done last, lost half its life, or half its, um, power. Um. So always check the date if you replace your battery when you need to replace your battery. Make sure it's a fre the freshest battery, the newest one, on the shelf. Um, you know, because back in the day they they didn't, you know, they had to. You had the batteries there. You had to fill them with the acid, and they were you, then you had to seal them up, and it took a couple of hours to do that. I, I want to say. So make sure your battery stays in tip-top shape and check it with a meter every once in a while if you have a meter most meters today don't cost that much like 50 bucks you can check your battery and your alternator at the same time um, I think a few more tips um, Also, your transmission fluid. You want to make sure you you want your car to last as long as possible. So make sure you keep your transmission fluid changed regularly, every 30, 40, 50,000 miles. If you bought a brand new car and drove it 100,000 miles and didn't change the fluid, eh, I wouldn't. You wouldn't want it slipping. So change it every and buy quality fluid. You know, if it's a Ford, you put Ford fluid in. Um. And just change it, keep it changed every 30, 40, 50,000 miles. You know. Um, but, yeah, those are just some, as I said, I'll say it again, those are some good tips to keep a car running and driving as long as possible to keep you from having to buy another car. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Ford Shop Yard for more content. Thank you, guys, and have a good day.